Good morning, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Um, first, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. Um, I'm so grateful to have you here. And uh, God bless you guys. Secondly, I want to share a few dreams with you that I believe uh, is pertinent to right now. Um, well, let's look at what's happening. So we know what's happening that Trump is refusing to step down and give over the election to Biden and Harris. Um, he has lawyers and he wants recounts and things like that. And he's talking about, I think it's Pennsylvania, um, or no, not Pennsylvania, one of them, he's talking about voter fraud and everything. And um, and then, you guys, we need to pray that Biden does not get into office. Because if he gets into office, that means that Obama, the same, you know, Democrat narrative... Um, comes into play and Obama comes in, back into power and that means Hillary too um, and it, it's just, it'll be bad just all bad um, so he's going trying to stay in power Trump is trying to stay in power and Biden is trying to get into power and it's just going to be bad, you guys, if he gets into power. So we need to pray against that. Okay, so if he gets into power, Obama gets into power, and this is where Michelle, this is in, where in my dream, and this is after, I had this dream after Trump won this last term. Um... So in the dream, I'm standing there in a restaurant and I'm looking at Obama and Michelle and they're sitting at this, in this booth at this table, but it, it, in front of them was supposed to have been a round tabletop, but it wasn't there. It was missing. And next to Michelle, what, I knew it was her best friend. And she was... A white woman and they were talking and I was watching them have this conversation and Michelle was saying no I want them all dead and her friend said what do you mean she's all I want I want all of them dead I'm just I, this disgusting I'm disgusted by them and her friend was just getting this look on her face like, I can't believe you. I just, I can't believe, she couldn't believe what was coming out of Michelle's mouth. And Obama was like nodding his head in agreement with Michelle. And um, the friend said, well, and I knew she was talking about like white people. And her friend said, well, even black people? And she goes, yes. And she's all, even babies and children? And she said, yes, all dead. And her friend was really disgusted. And her friend got up and walked away. Um, so I believe, in the, and that was the end of the dream. But I believe that in this dream, God was showing, you know, it's not about uh, this race type of thing as they make it. They just hate everybody. It's, they just want everybody dead. They don't care. Uh, like a war that's coming. I don't know. But, and I was thinking about how the table, there wasn't a table. Well, the definition of a table is a piece of furniture with a flat top. 
and one or more legs providing a level surface on which objects may be placed and that can, can be used for such purposes as eating, riding, working, or playing games. A set of facts or figures systematically displayed, especially in columns. Um, in the U.S. as a verb, postpone consideration of. Uh, example, I'd like the issue to be tabled for the next few months. And in British, they use it present formally for discussion or consideration at a meeting. An MP tabled an amendment to the bill. And down here, it says... Uh, suggest something for discussion formally in a meeting. Delay dealing with something until future time. So a table is something that you put something on the table. You're discussing something. You're, But there was no table there. So to me, that represented that there won't be a discussion about it. It's just going to happen. It's not going to be something that's, sorry, my daughter's, if you can hear that, that's the monitor and my daughter's in the house with the baby. Um, she's teething and fussy this morning. Um, it's just something that's not going to be argued about. They sat around the dinner table arguing about poli politics. Come to the table, everybody. You see what I mean? But there's no table. There's not going to be any discussion about it. It's just going to happen. And it's like a secret thing that they're talking about. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Baby's down for a nap. Okay. So, I think it's just an insight. I don't know. This is just the way I'm thinking of this dream. And I think that it's an insight of the Lord just saying how evil these people are and this government is and um they have they don't have our well-being um in play in their minds it's all about power and money and who rules what just <sighs> truly evil okay and let's see the second dream, it was regarding Trump. And I was sitting in this little area of like picnic tables. And there was like a food truck or a food cart or something like that there. And I had a teenage son. I don't have a teenage son in real life. But in the dream, I had a teenage son, and it, I looked around in the dream, and I saw that everybody was dressed like 1950s. And my son said to me, and I think this represents America, and how there's food shortages and stuff. And he said, Mom, I'm hungry. Um, can we get something to eat? And I said, well, I don't have any money to get anything to eat. And, um, I said, why don't you go ask these people? Cause there were some people eating at a table and if they have any change or any money for you. And so he went to one table and asked them and they, they gave him just, it was like pit, not, hardly anything, probably like 25 cents. And then he went to another table and they gave him a little bit of money. And then he walked up to the food truck and at, this man walked up and he was dressed like remember this is the fi a 50s theme he was dressed he looked just like Biff from Back to the Future and he I saw him and, and then it's like my perception changed and I was standing right next to them and he asked him for some money and he and this Biff guy pulled out a bunch of change out of his letterman's jacket and threw it on the ground and said, here, you can have all this. 
and he threw it on the ground in the grass, all this change. And my son looked down and went to pick it, pick the coins up. And Biff said, except for this. And he reached down and he picked up a, like a 50 cent piece or a dollar piece, a silver coin. And he said, except for this, you can't have this. No one's going to take my silver 3D. Now, <sighs> Biff, and I think it was Brother Calvin that pointed this out when I first saw the stream, that Biff was actually, the character of Biff was based upon Donald Trump, a young Donald Trump. And if you Google that, Biff character based on Donald Trump, yeah, it's all over Google that that character was based on a young Donald Trump. And uh, I was like, wow. And then <clears throat> when I first looked this up, me and Cherry were looking this up about this Newman or this uh, Silver 3D. And at the time, I found information that there was uh, a 3D coin, silver coin, that was minted for America. It was called a Newman uh, Silver 3D. Now, Newman is like a Jewish last name. And we were thinking, you know, it meant, well, I still do think it means this. No one's going to take my land. No one's going to take my 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 money no one's going to take my silver 3d my adam my adam and talking about refer referencing israel they all love him over there for everything that he's done well not everybody loves him but um but then when i went to look this up again Last year, in 2019, they found, now, now this is really weird because after I found this new information about this silver 3D, um, I saw on God's Messenger channel, because he lives in the UK, that Biden was talking about making Obama the ambassador to the UK. And I thought, ugh. Are you kidding me right now? Because the coin I found is called a George V Silver Three Pence or a, a Silver 3D. And it's very rare. And there's only two in the world. And they thought that this coin had disappeared at the start of the war uh, in Britain or something like that. And now bear with me. I don't know my um, Roman numerals, okay? But uh, George V, silver three pence, 1936, was a very unusual year for this country in that there were three kings on the throne that year. Three kings. George V died and his son took over as King Edward. And when he abdicated, his brother became King George uh, VI, I don't know. Most of the coins were struck under King Edward, but all the coins have the portrait of King George V on them. They were struck in 500 fine silver and are the last silver three pences to have his portrait on them. A silver three pence of 1936 in selected circulation condition, the year of three kings. So, and, and I'm just like, wow. And then, so there's, there's other years too. If you look this up, it's talking about Britain. It's talking about war. It has war in it. It's talking about, uh, silver and money and, um, leader, uh, power. And, uh, the year of the three Kings. So we have like Trump, 
Biden, Obama. That's what came into my mind. Um, and Trump saying, no one's going to take my silver 3D. No one's going to take my money. No one's going to take my power. No one's going to take my land. No one's going to take my rulership. And it's in a 1950s scene. We had war going on. Um, what was the war in the 1940s and 50s? I think it was Vietnam. Yeah, I think it was Vietnam. Uh, World War II. But these are things that God is showing us. So, you know, just we need to pray. Get into our prayer mode and our fasting mode and leaning upon God, trusting in God and realizing that God has us in the palm of his hands. Now, there's a third dream I wanted to share. And I know this is getting long and I apologize. But the third dream was... I'm standing in like this political office building and there's this long, long table, huge, and there's all these military uh, leaders and I know that they represent different countries and they're coming for a meeting. And I see them all sitting down on each side of the tables of the table. And they're having a discussion about trading us. They're trading us like livestock, like cattle at a cattle auction. And they're saying, well, I have this to offer and I have this to offer. And one threw up a bag of oranges on the table and said, here's what I'm going to offer. And it was all, they were trading our lives. They were going to have war and, and they didn't care who they killed. I knew I was like, oh my goodness. They didn't care if it was women or children or young men or young women. They didn't care. They wanted to kill us all and like reset the world. It, it was so weird. And then at the very end of the table, there was an empty chair and a man walked up. He wasn't dressed like military um, higher up. He just had a suit and tie on and he said, sorry, I'm late. And he pulled out the chair and sat down. And that was the end of the dream. But I knew that, that they were trading us like tch, commodities. <clears throat> they were trading our lives like commodities and they were all in on it from around the world. They were all in on it. It makes me think of, um, uh, once again, money and power and population control it's all illuminati all illuminati big world bankers and and tech and it's it was it's just crazy you guys and i'm telling you if you're a new subscriber and you're on the fence you're not sure god's led you to certain channels or this channel or I don't know he's speaking to you in your life <sighs> you need to call upon Jesus today don't wait one more second do it today he will save you we are saved by our faith in Jesus Christ we're not saved by our works we're not saved by how good we keep the law. We're not saved by any of those things. Once you believe in Jesus Christ, that he came down, he died on the cross, he rose again on the third day, he spilled his precious blood, he had no sin in him, he nailed all your sins to the cross. Once you believe upon that and upon Jesus Christ, you are saved. You have it's, Eternal life is a free gift. It's not something you work for, it's not something you earn. Um, it's not something you maintain. It's by faith alone in Christ alone. And once you are saved, you're saved eternally. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit. You get the Holy Spirit 
the second you believe. And he seals you until he comes and redeems his purchased possession. And then that's the rapture and we get glorified bodies. Glorified bodies. And he purchased you on the cross and he loves you very much. So, all right, you guys. I love you guys. And for every new person that has subscribed, I'm glad you're here. And God bless you guys.